Hey, how are you all? Today we are going to talk about an investment problem. So here I go. Find the time it will take a corporation to accumulate $1 million if the company can invest 125000 per year in a fund earning 8% interest compounded continuous compounded compounded continuously so find the time it will take for an in, uh, for a corporation to accumulate 1 million if the company can invest 125000 per year in a fund earning 8% interest compounded continuously Uh, so f let's change the color of the key. The solution. For an investment uh, for an investment for an investment which uh, earns an interest in interest compounded Interest, not interested, so interest earns an interest which is compounded continuously, which is compounded continuously, which is compounded continuously. The comma, the formula is A is equal to P over R multiplied by E, where E is a natural number raised to the power of R T minus 1. Here A is the amount amount accumulated accumulated in a time period t So we need uh, A, it's given in the problem, is 100,000, uh, sorry, 1 million. That's what we need at the end of the time period of T. So that is what it is written here. Time period of T. Okay, A is 1 million. Okay, the rate of interest is uh, R is 0 0.08, 8 percent in decimal is 0 0.08, and uh, we are investing. So if I move this a little bit up, P is the amount, P is the amount invested. invested initially amount invested every year it is investing 125000 so then the amount in this case is 1 million r is 0 0.08 and p is the amount invested per year 
which is 125,000. Okay, so if I plug in the formula, A is 1 million, P is 125,000, R is the rate of interest, which is 0 0.08. And we have, in parenthesis, rate is 0 0.08. Time, we do not know, minus 1. Okay? So, let me move this up a little bit. Multiply both sides. Multiply both sides by 0 0.08. We have 1 million multiplied by 0 0.08 and equal to 125,000 divided by 0 0.08 and then multiplied by 0 0.08, 0 0.08, e to the power of 0 0.08t minus 1. So this 0 0.08 and this 0 0.08 cancels. Now we can divide both sides by 125,000 to get 1 million divided by 125,000 times 0 0.08, do not forget that, is 125,000 divided by 125,000 because I'm dividing by 125,000 on both sides. Please do not give, quit right away. I'll give you an important tip at the end of this program is e to the power of 0 0.08 t minus 1. If I simplify the left-hand side, and, uh, 1 million multiplied by 0 0.08 divided by 125,000 is, is not 12,500, it's 125,000. So I'm missing a 0 over here. So this is 0 0.64 is equal to E, again, E is the natural number. We'll use the definition of the end. E is the natural number. So, I create some more space. So, 0 0.64 is equal to, so now I will add, uh, let me create some more space. 0 0.64 plus 1, add 1 on both sides, is e to the power of 0 0.08 times t minus 1 plus 1. So this and this cancels. Okay. So e to the power of, therefore we get e to the power of 0 0.08 t is equal to 1.64. Okay. Take natural logarithm of both sides. Natural logarithm is logarithm to the base e. So take natural logarithm on both sides. On both sides, which is nothing but logarithm to the base e. To the base e. Okay. So, you have natural logarithm is written as ln, ln e 0 0.08 t is equal to ln 1.64. Okay, now ln is natural logarithm to the base e and inside the parenthesis you have e itself raised to the point. Point eighty, point eight zero eighty should be clarified. It's point zero eight t zero point zero eight t. So when you take natural logarithm, which is log to the base e, and inside the parenthesis you have the e same natural number raised to the power of zero point zero eight t. Uh, one property of logarithm is 
ln e natural logarithm of e to the base e is equal to one. If this is the case, then since let's write since then we have e zero point zero eight t or uh, let's uh, uh no let me leave it like this so therefore we have e to the power of 0 0.08 t is equal to ln of 1.64 okay so you know something i missed something And then of 1.64, right? Okay. Actually, uh, this is what I missed. It should be one point, just one point. E to the power of 0 0.08 t is equal to 1.64. That's where we start from. Now, we will take, so let's erase this. Is equal to ln of 1.64. Okay, or we can write by taking natural rather than by taking natural logarithm. By taking natural logarithm on both sides. Actually, I made here yeah, ln 1.64. So if we are taking this then the exponent comes in the front that was my mistake so by taking natural logarithm on both sides since ln of e to the base e is equal to one therefore the left hand side reduces to 0 0.08 times t okay this is the equation that we have to solve now divide by 0 0.08 on both sides we get 0 0.08 t divided by 0 0.08 is equal to ln 1.64 divided by 0 0.08 so that means t is equal to ln of 1.64 by 0 0.08 which itself is equal to 6.18 and that will be in years that is the final answer so i'll highlight it a little bit okay so basically let me summarize what i did so first i use the formula of continuous uh, investment investment that uh, earns interest compounded continuously okay and that formula of the amount accumulated in time t is given as p is the original is the investment per year divided by r r is the rate of interest multiplied by in parenthesis e r t e means natural number raised to the power of r t minus one so we know a and rate so we plug in the value of a which is one million we also know p since we are investing 125,000 every year. So 125,000 divided by 0 0.08 is equal to e to the uh, or natural number raised to the power of 0 0.08. And this should be written properly. This is uh, minus one, not in the exponent. Uh, this is over here. So basically we are uh, multiplying by 0 0.08 on both sides. And then we will divide by 125,000 on both sides. When we do that, we get 100, 1 million multiplied by 0 0.08 divided by 125,000 is 0.64 is e to the power of our natural number raised to the power of 0 0.08 t minus 1. 
then we'll add one on both sides. So we get e to the power of our natural number raised to the power of 0 0.08 t is equal to 1.64. Then we will take natural logarithm on both sides. Now, one thing we must remember, the natural logarithm of e to the base e is 1. Hence, natural logarithm of on the left-hand side of e, that is a natural number raised to the power of 0 0.08, is nothing but just the exponent since ln of e to the base e is 1. Therefore, on the left-hand side, we have 0 0.08 t, which is ln of 1.64. Then we divide by 0 0.08 on both sides, and we get t, the time taken uh, to uh, earn one million dollar when we are earning when the interest is compounded continuously at eight percent is six point one eight years when we are investing hundred and twenty five thousand every year so i'll stop here today if you have any question comment write me a note yes please write me a note i love to see your note and if you like this video please give me a heads up that really motivates me to perform well, to solve more problems for you. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and let YouTube know that you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video, which I do almost every day. So please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another problem. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you.